So beta 5 of iOS 13 was released a little over a day now. And instead of rushing and making a video within like the first hour when the beta got updated, I like to personally make sure I cover everything in a single video so I don't have to come back to it. And even though after each release, Apple does give you like a patch note of all the things that got changed, they don't really cover everything. And I see a lot of YouTubers just covering the basics. But this is the complete list of all the new features and changes that you should know about on iOS Beta 5. These are the changes that truly matter. Let's first start off by going over the few new features that got integrated on CarPlay. On CarPlay, we now have four new buttons down here. And if you go into your settings, you now have an option to actually remove or enable the album cover. So if you wish the album cover will look like this, and without it, the album cover will go in the background. So on our iOS device, the volume HUD got a new redesign. It's a little more slimmer than it was before. And now it gives you heptic feedback whenever you lower or raise the volume. You're now able to rearrange applications, even the third party ones now, whenever you 3D press or force touch on your device. And you can also do the same exact thing now on the docked applications as well. Inside the activity app, we now have new medals. Now they go higher than just 500 than previously before. So now we have new medals to play with. The share sheet tab got redesigned. Everything is now nice and category. Text, as you can see, it's now black and white. And if you go all the way down, you can actually edit these actions and rearrange it to your preference. On top of our iPhone, the status bar of our cellular, Wi-Fi, and even if it says LTE, the font has been resized to fit nicer on top of this little gap. And in our control tab, in the control center of our audio, the arrows to pause and play, the text and the icon has also been resized. Now inside the HomeKit app, you now have the ability to choose other new native wallpapers to choose from. So if you hit that little top tab right there, if you tap on choose existing ones, you now have a few more color options to choose from. When in settings and your displays, when switch between dark mode or light mode, there's this cool translucent animation now. Before it was just a rough transition. Now it's just a cool animation look. In the Apple Music app, if you're playing a music that does not support lyrics, the lyrics icon is now going to be grayed out. And if you do switch to a song that does support lyrics, when you tap on it, if you click on the little three dots on the top right hand corner, if you go down, you can actually click to view the full lyrics. And now whenever you're playing a track, the timestamps doesn't fade away within the first few seconds. It continues displaying it now. Whenever you 3D press on a link now, you're now given the option to open that link in a new tab. We now have a new icon on the check mark when our Wi-Fi is selected. Then in settings, whenever you're selecting your wallpaper, our wallpaper now has rounder edges. And then if we open up App Switcher, they also have the round edges too. In the Health app, we now have highlights. Highlights will basically show you if you're making progress or if you're making work progress than you were last week. Then on the Hearing tab, we also got new picture icons. Those got replaced. And down here, you also may have noticed that our search bar is now gone, the search tab. It got replaced with the browse tab instead. Now, whenever we take a screenshot, the new plus icon that's down here has been redesigned. Now it's more visible than ever before. When you're updating applications, there's now gestures controls where you can actually swipe to dismiss. Apple finally added new hairstyles for our Memojis. Now there's more hairstyles to choose from than ever before. The quick accessibility shortcuts got a new update. If you go into guided access and enable guided access and you go down to your accessibility shortcuts, you can now check mark dark appearance. Now, whenever you triple tap on the power buttons, it will automatically switch back and forth between light mode and dark mode. Whenever you save a draft in the million app, you can now open it up like a little tab, very similar like tabs in Safari and moving on to iPad OS. Whenever you open up like a mobile size tab like this, you could actually slide with your finger to switch forward or back between those two different web pages. Now, whenever you force press on Safari, you can now open up all the windows that you had open, all the tabs. And if you close one and you accidentally closed it on accident, you can actually redo the close tab in case it was something important. In the settings in the display tab, you now have the choice between the big app icons or the new size smaller app icons to fit more apps on the home page. Now widgets on our homepage, we, before we were only limited to only have two at a time, but now you can have up to six. So you just simply add them and now you can just cycle through them like so. And if you have your accessibility tab on and you're actually connected to a Bluetooth mouse, you can make the mouse cursor smaller than ever before, as we're now able to adjust the size option a little bit more. 
and there we have it that was basically all the new changes and new innovations that they did on beta beta 5 of ios 13 and ipad os i like making these videos straightforward no need to make these videos 10 minutes long and i'm sure this was way more than just five features and what apple listed on their patch notes which is why i like to spend a quality time with the new software or else we would have never known about these other new features that they also changed. But that's where I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you guys enjoyed and want to stay tuned for the next future updates, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and ring that bell so you don't miss the next one. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.